So we've heard about the father. How about we, we talk a bit about the man? Sure. Does that sound good? Sure. Since you were a child, I've heard that you've been a music enthusiast. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about that. Well, I even go back before I was born because Ukrainians are singing all the time. Yeah. And they're singing in harmony. So even in the womb, I was listening to harmonies. <laughs> so friends of ours had two pianos. And uh, I, asked, I went up and asked, do we have one of their pianos? My parents were embarrassed. But they said, sure. So I was maybe 11 years old. And I started playing piano. In high school, I played the bassoon and the clarinet, mm. directed orchestras and choirs, I studied voice a little bit. So that's always been a big part of my life. Then I got into, when I entered the Jesuits, we formed a rock band in Gonzaga at the Spok <laughs> Spokane, Washington, called the Bay of Pigs. The Bay of Pigs. So there's always, music has always <laughs> been there thematically in my life, yeah. You know, actually, uh, I, I remember that, um, so I'm, I'm from Washington State, and I'm gonna tell you, I, I, I can count on one hand the number of times I've heard uh, the word Spokane, Washington, and this is probably the first time I've heard it internationally. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you. Uh, and I'm sure we're back home is That's thanking right. you as well. That's right. That's right. <laughs> um, I'm sure it's the first time it's been, ever been uttered out of Rome. Um, in, in Rome, go Bulldogs. Go, go Bulldogs. Bulldogs. <laughs> um, you're also a bit of a health enthusiast. Yeah, so younger, we played a lot of sports, but when you enter sort of a religious life as a Jesuit, you're moving around a bit. So I started getting into sports that I could handle sort of by myself. So I jogged, I did weights, I swam, I did all these things that I could do on my own. So even still today at the age of 363, I, I do a good uh, maybe hour and a half of exercise a day. That's terrific, that's terrific. Um, Let's change it up a little bit. Sure. Let's go to some of the some of your favorite things. Tell us about some of your favorite books. You know, th that's going to just be so huge and broad. <laughs> I'm going to say a book that it's Bernard Lonergan's Insight. It's the analysis of cogni cognitive structure. Huh. Now you say, how can this be fun? But it's one of those books that clarifies what you're thinking and what you're not thinking. What what comes out of it? A, a logical, intuitive sense of reality and what is sort of a fantasy in yourself. Mm. That's certainly one. Uh, a great book, uh, novel, is Fugitive Pieces, which sort of talks about an immigrant child putting the pieces of his life together, mm. which I think is such a relevant book for today. Yeah. Do you have any others? Books? Mm -hmm. I have a lot of books on uh, uh, sort of politics in the Middle East, even by uh, American military people. Mm. But the latest book that actually I actually read, which was written by a, a Harvard Business School, Professor Emerita, uh, called Surveillance Capitalism, mm. which deals sort of with the downside of uh, information culture, whether it's Facebook and Google and collecting of private information and all. So those kinds of sort of mm. socially analytical things I really love. Mm, excellent. Those are, I, have, I haven't re read the first two, but I've actually, I believe I've, 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 I've caught a snippet of, of the last one. Uh, and I have one for you I might, I might send your way called The, Trans, the Transhuman Code. Uh, by David uh, uh, Ferguson. It's terrific. Great. Um, I'll take it. And I will, I'll send it to you. All right, so um, three favorite movies. Three favorite movies. One of my all time favorite movies is Amor Chords. Now, it's an Italian movie, mm. but uh, done by Fellini, but it's where he goes back into his memory as a child and uh, forgives all of the craziness he did. Another one remains for me a strong movie is Network. I don't think I've seen it. So Network is from, I, it might be from 1973, it's Faye Dunaway and all these mm -hmm. people, but it's about the, the uh, commercialization and the lying quality of mass media. Hmm. And I, it's one of those movies that it shouldn't be relevant today, but you look at it and you say, this still makes sense uh, today. Interesting. Uh, other movies would be like, like Ex Machina, these things that are dealing with very current uh, ways of reconceiving the person through analytics and infometrics, and showing also the poverty of that kind of thinking. How about something commercial? How about what? How about a commercial movie? A commercial, well, they're all, Ex Machina is a commercial movie. <laughs> Network was a commercial Dave movie. Network was, yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, three, three favorite musicians or artists, bands. Let's say, let's say today, uh, I really like Sarah Bareilles. Mm. Um, there's these couple of Croatian guys that have done a great thing on the internet called the two cellos, mm. 
So they do all sorts of wild thing, rock music as well as classic music, and it's got a lot, a lot of fun, uh, a lot of fun in it. I still like Michael Bublé, who, who brings out a kind of stuff from the past, but it's stuff that's got rhythm and, and got heart. Mm -hmm. I mean, for Sarah Bareilles and these two cellos, it's got humor, it's got joy in a difficult time that we're living through. Playfulness, mm -hmm. but they're talking about things of soul mm -hmm. or, or playing from the soul, and that's what sort of connects with me. We're going to change things up a little bit. What we're going to do is one word, one word responses. What's your favorite color? Blue. Mm. What's your favorite word? Uh, I probably can't say it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the next question. Next question, it's okay. <laughs> Dog or cat? Dog. Mountain or beach? Oh, that's interesting. I would say mountain. What's your favorite element? Wind. <laughs> Tell me something nobody knows. Something nobody knows. In the office, coffee cups. I will not use the same coffee cup every day. I will rotate them so I use all six equally. So in six days, I will use each cup once. That's fascinating. <laughs> coffee or tea? Coffee. Still or sparkling? Sparkling. Night or day? That, that's interesting. Probably night. What makes you smile? A conversation like this. Hmm. The unexpected. Hmm. As we wrap this up. Once more? As we wrap this up. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. What would you like to tell the youth today? Hang in there. Mm. It's going to be fine. Hang in there. I think that's all for today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great pleasure. Thanks, David. Yes. The 2019 Humanity 2.0 Forum is brought to you by Cisco Systems, CSR solutions that are accelerating global problem solving in ways that have never been attempted before, to Ulala, providing mobile blockchain solutions for the unbanked and to Pledge Camp, the next generation of crowdfunding. A special thanks to Tonico in Vatican City for hosting our program. And lastly, special consideration to Burst IQ, a leader in healthcare and blockchain, to Crown Sterling, the leader in digital sovereignty and quantum encryption, to Dignity Health, delivering high quality and affordable healthcare for all. And lastly, to Falcon Ventures, as transformative as our entrepreneurs. And thank you, 1-800 Public Relations, for all your PR and media support. We'll be right back after these messages. Don't go away.